Hey, good morning, folks. It's good to have you with us this week. Hey, uh, yesterday, Mother's Day, we, we were playing uh, with my grandson, and, and uh, I just, we, we were playing with these building blocks, and uh, he wanted to take all these things and, and kind of build a, a race car. And uh, I, I realized as we were building, there's just no way that we were going to be able to build the race car because these um, blocks weren't fitting together correctly. And the reality was we had a bunch of different kind of uh, building blocks and they just weren't all going to work together. It reminded me of what we talked about this week in our, our sermon um, right here in verse one, that uh Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. And unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman um, keeps awake in vain. Uh, you know, as we're talking about this, I, I it really stuck in my craw this morning. So I went back and did some uh, looking around. And that word vain actually means worthless. Um, no, no value whatsoever. What intrigued me, however, as I looked a little bit more, it actually also means to deceive. To fraud. And I'm not sure that anybody here that's building their home, building a family, um, trying to live a life together with their spouse and their children would intentionally seek to put all this effort and energy into something for it to come out um, worthless and useless. I, I'm not sure anybody would. But the Bible does tell me something in Proverbs 14, 1. It says that the wise woman builds her house, but the foolish tears it down with her own hands. And I'm wondering sometimes if we are working so hard and I, um, th that we focus on the wrong things instead of the right things. You know, building these blocks together, we want to start with the big blocks on the bottom. And even if we have never done any carpentry or anything like that, we do realize that a strong foundation is what we need to build on. And we wouldn't, you know, go out and get little tiny sticks or something like that and try to build this big, huge, monstrous structure on top of tiny sticks. We, sticks. we know it wouldn't hold up. But sometimes I think we build in vain our homes, putting the wrong things in front of us instead of what's right. And what really uh, interests me about this particular passage is that unless the Lord builds the house, unless the Lord builds it, it's not me who's building it. It's God who's building it. And that was the amazing thing. I, I looked around a little bit more and it says, for thus says the Lord who created the heavens and earth. He is the God who formed the earth and made it. He established it and did not create it a waste place, but formed it to be inhabited I am the Lord and there is none else. You know, Isaiah wrote something that God was saying here, which was incredible. God built, created uh, everything. And he didn't create this world to be a waste place, formless, without void, useless, worthless. He formed it to be inhabited. He formed it, those words mean, to actually um, have purpose and to be inhabited, to be used and develop life. You know, that's the kind of homes we want to build. And if God is the one who built this world, doesn't it make sense that we should um, surrender to him and let him master our lives and grow us so that he can be the master builder in our homes and in our lives as well? I just challenge you this morning as we come together, I want to encourage you. Um, he says, many, O Lord, my God, are the wonders which you have done and your thoughts toward us. There is none to compare with you. If I would declare and speak of them, they would be too numerous to count. Today, as you're building your lives, come back to the Lord, who is the master builder. When he masters us, he builds our homes through us masterfully. I just challenge you this morning, surrender to the Lord. It's never too late to come back to God. It's never too late to build on his premises. It's never too late to let the Lord take control and to command us so that he can build a house, a home, and a life that is masterfully built.